Hello everybody, I'm Gamester522 and welcome back to more Metroid Prime. In the last video, we killed Flagra, got the various suit, the boost ball, and the space jump. And now we're continuing our journey. We need to head back to Fendrana Drifts, but first, we saw that Ridley was flying here towards the Talon Overworld. But before we do anything, behind our ship there is a tunnel of weeds, and in here is a missile expansion. Now, since we have the ability to double jump, we can actually get up to that door that's right in front of our ship. Maybe this is where Ridley went. Also, we have some annoying enemies with homing attacks here. Shoot through the weeds. And where the hell is this? Impact crater. What is this place? Space pirate encrypted data decoded. Field team reports are in are in on an age structure of alien design built on the surface of Talon Vor. Study show this structure projects a, a, a containment field. This field bars access to the prime source of the energy within a deep crater. Science team believes the field is powered by a number of strange Tozo artifacts. We have found some of these relics and studied the and studies have on them have begun. As this field can hinder future energy production operations on Talon Vor, we must dismantle it as soon as possible. If this means the destruction of Chozo artifacts, it will be done. So, what is this place? This is just a big disc room, it seems. Now, what is this place? And what is this? We have acquired a Chozo artifact. This is the Artifact of Truth, the first of twelve. Collect it, then scan the totems here for clues on the location of the remaining artifacts. Together, the artifacts will open a path to the center of the impact crater. So, in order to access the final area of the game, we have to find all 12 Chozo artifacts. And that was just the first one. Now, you can scan these, these little Chozo heads, to kind of get to help tell you the locations of where they are. But since we grabbed that one. There's nothing else we can really do here. And plus, I remember where they all are anyway, so... No sense on wasting time with that. But, it's there for anyone who needs it. But now that we've done that, we need to head back to Vendrana Drifts, because it looks like we can't get inside of Impact Crater for the time being. So, so yes, we're going back to Fendrana Drifts. We're taking the same path we took back. So, I will, and as far as I know, there aren't any items I'm going to be picking up. So, I'm just going to go ahead and cut there. So, I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, we are back in the Fendrana Drifts. So now that we have the double jump, there is a door we can we can access here at the starting area. Let's see here. Yep, we need to get up to that platform that's up here. Get these guys out of my way. And then we need to jump to this platform over here. 
Okay, yeah, I didn't make it. I had a feeling I jumped too early. There we go. Let's see. Nailed it. You may hear an item, but there's nothing we can do about that yet. Alright. You have to use a char shot to break the ice. Just do it quickly so the bombos doesn't get you. And here we enter a new area. Looks like some kind of frozen temple. Want to use our double jumping abilities to get up here. Now then, when we get all the way up here, it looks like our way through is actually blocked for the moment. Now, if you try scanning these heads, one of them is actually, uh, damn it, one of them is actually breakable, and that's this one right here. So we fire a missile at it, it reveals a bomb slot. Okay, now we can move on. Now, in order to get through here, we kind of have to blow our way through these metal... These metal crates. That way we can get out. Because we have to bomb the... We have to bomb these fragile blocks where these pillars are so we can get through. It looks like there's something right here. Of course, it wouldn't be that easy. Looks like we gotta fight some she goths. Try, try to only fight these guys with your beam. Let's not. Let's try and save our missiles as best we can. Basically, we want to kind of strafe them so we can get behind them. Then once their back, once their back is exposed, a few shots just takes care of them. And it looks like when we kill one, it, it spawns another one, or it wakes it up rather. There are crates in the corners of this room, but I'm gonna save those for when I actually need them. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering how the hell can I mash so fast with the, uh, on a Wiimote. And my response to you is good question. Okay, so there's one left. That takes care of that. Now what? Ah, yes. We have to fight an adult She-Goth. Now, this one is unique because the crystal on its back absorbs energy. What we want to do is we want to fire our beam so it absorbs enough energy to fire a blast out of its mouth. And then once it does, it gets exhausted. And then we can, throw miss and then we can fire missiles at it. Just keep your distance from it, whatever you do. And this thing will actually try to kind of predict your movement, so stay, stay wary of that.
If you keep your distance, you can see the shot flying towards you, and then you can just move accordingly. See, now it's at the point where it's going to be firing multiple blasts. But yeah, you can only hurt it when it's exhausted. And if you run out of missiles, then you can resort, you can actually hurt this thing with bombs if you're out of missiles. It's just a bit more riskier that way. Just basically, you have to hurt it with something that's not energy-based. Otherwise, the crystals on its back will just absorb it. So we just want to keep feeding it energy and keep wearing itself out. We are playing on hot we are playing on hyper mode so enemies do have double the HP which explains why it's taking quite a while we should almost got we, it should almost be dead though on now oh get myself caught on the wall getting caught on these jank wall polygons and we did it now let's go ahead and blow up these crates I think we get quite a bit of drops from killing this thing gonna go ahead and pick up everything get our missiles restored and we're good now what is this this is the wave beam we can now we now have multiple beams the wave beam basically fires electricity and it also opens purple doors and since we can open purple doors there's actually one place we can actually go here in Vendrana Drifts that had a purple door and also with the wave beam we can now destroy bomb -oses. And its charge shot has a stunning effect on on a certain enemy that we will run into here pretty soon. But just know that since we have the wave beam, it's possible to kill Bombosis now. Now then. If we try to, if we make our way back over here, we can go back to the direction where the boost, uh, where the boost ball was. Okay, I thought I could make that jump, but I couldn't. Yes, that was the missile expansion you saw right there, but like I said, we cannot get it yet. There's basically a very, very thick sheet of ice that we can do nothing that we can't do anything about. Go ahead and kill the bombos.
Let's make our way back up here. Thankfully, Space Jump helps us cut some of the trekking down in some rooms. Excuse me, don't mind me. Alright, now that we're back up here... I could kill these guys, but I don't feel like it. Alright, so there's the wave door over there. So now that we have Space Jump, we can go inside of this building right here. And with Space Jump, we can actually get up here. These little Bergmites. And then we can actually lock on and fire a missile at this Stalagmite. Or this Stalactite. Stalagmite's on the ground. This Stalactite. That way we can get up here and get on the top of these buildings. There's another power up directly behind us, but just like with that other missile expansion, thick sheet of ice we can't do anything about. And now that we can open this wave door, we can go this way. We have these damn bugs again. Back from the Chozo ruins. And now we're in a different place. Now, this is a new addition to the Prime games. This thing that you see right here, this is a boot this is basically a boost slot. By boosting inside of it, we can activate things. Now there is an item here that we can hear. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and do boost on both of the boost slots here. And it looks like that bomb slot has opened up. Now if we can just get up into it. And this will fill the room with water. But not completely. Once it fills up, the timer will start counting down. So we need to move. We want to head to this little bomb, this little morph hole right here. And if we go down it, we get another E tank. And then the water will lower. And then we get shot back out down here. Now, as you can see, our movement in water is atrocious. But now that we grab that E-Tank, it's time for us to go where we have to go. Which is at the top of this room. Instead of going straight ahead to the, bump, uh, to the Morph Ball hole, we just want to take a right when we get to that center pillar. That way we can get on this platform right here. And we're home free. Now, there's two paths we can go. This missile door over here, that is a save point if you need it. But there's also a wave door over here that we can go through. So let's do that. Now the wave beams charge shot is slightly stronger than the normal beams the normal beams charge shot. And it looks like the space pirates are back. But yeah, if you keep spamming half charge shots, you can basically catch the space pirates in a stun loop. Now there is a turret up there. I'm going to go ahead and take out I like how it oh I like how it 
I like how it like oh like it gets over it gets overcharged and it just malfunctions. Okay, that sounds like an alarm. And here come the space pirates. Okay. Okay, so yeah, it seems alternating between missiles and charge shots works if you're dealing with more than one and need to get rid of them. How the fuck did you get behind me? Oh yes, and also the wave beam's charge shot has a bit of a homing property to it. And the doors have been unlocked. Looks like we're in some kind of space pirate base now. But might as well keep going. There is a door right below us. Let me actually see what that is. I think it's a save point, but it'd be kind of weird if it gave us two save points. Like, literally, like, three rooms apart. Oh, no, this is the map. And now we have the map for this area. Yeah, it looks like it's a facility. Space pirates have built a facility here in the Cho in the fin uh, Fendrana drifts. Let's say Chozo ruins, but no, we ain't nowhere near that. All right, more bombos. We need to blow through. Now, what is this place? Research Lab Hydra. Oh, here they come. How the fuck are you alive? Get the fuck out of here. Huh, it looks like missiles can break these glass tubes. That's something worth remembering. Might as well go ahead and pick up some things. There is a thing we could scan right here, which activates a lift. Yeah, get out of here. Space pirates don't want none of this. Okay, there's actually some explosive barrels right there, so that just freaking took him to the great beyond. Sent his ass straight to the Shadow Realm, if you know what I'm saying. And there's a turret. Of course there is. Alright. Also, you may hear an item when you get near this tube. That's because this tube actually houses one. But this isn't a simple glass casing. So we're going to have to come back for this. Seems to only be wave doors here. Go ahead and blow these up. Get some of my missiles back. I would prefer health. I mean, I know I'm almost at full health, but still. Alright. Got past those turrets. The hell is this? Hello there. Ok, 
Okay. Let's go ahead and kill them from down here. Any el anyone else want to fuck with me? Guess you do. Okay, then. That takes care of them. Go ahead and grab ourselves some health. And blow this shit to smithereens and scan this. Holographic sequence initiated or initialized. Hmm. Wonder what happens if we activate this. Well, it looks like we activated something. Looks like there's another bomb slot up there. It looks like those boost slots are active now. It looks like we're aligning some kind of array here. Would you look at that? It's like a giant map. And there's something up there. Let's see, what what kind of map is this, I wonder? Twin Tabula. Best known for twin fever, disease caused by viral strain native to twin tubula. Victims suffer from double vision where the twin when the victim is near death. Oof. What's this one? Or mine two. Uninhabitable wasteland savaged by nuclear dust storms and constant seismic upheavals. Talon four. Ecosystem studies indicate Talon four was a biological paradise prior to the impact of an extraterrestrial object. What remains of the biosphere is slowly fading due to exposure to phazon radiation. At current rate of decay, Talon four will be barren class 13 wasteland in approximately 25 years. Zebus. Planet crust is primarily earthric ore, making it ideal for subterranean construction. A class a class 19 planet, Zebus is inhospitable to most bioforms. The world was considered unremarkable until it became a base for space pirate forces. Saw another planet there, Billium. There it is. Profile quarantine. Atmosphere is rife with with mitoralis, a sentient gaseous global exterminator virus. Space pirates be over here looking for planets to make their bases. It seems to think that Talon Four was within the same system orbit as Ze as Zebus, though. It's a little too close to home, actually. Okay, there is a missile door right here. But there's also a strange power up here. But it's not just any strange power up. It is the super missile. It uses five missiles. Charge the beam and then while charging, press the missile button. So the way this works is that when our beams charge all the way and we press the missile button, we fire a super missile, which super missiles have an insane, an insane, insane level of power to them, and they can also break certain structures that normal missiles can't. But yes, we've gone on for quite a while, and that's going to be it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what you thought, and if you're new and you want to keep up with this adventure, 
and or this is actually helping anyone who's playing the remaster, be sure to hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified whenever I upload. I appreciate all the support that you guys give me. It really means a lot. And I will see you guys on the next video. Till then, see you then. Yeah.